is kind of a monumental day for our country. I know some people are gonna be like, oh, that's a little hyperbolic, just a cable news host was fired. Tucker Carlson is officially out at Fox News. I don't think I'm speaking just for myself here when I say I got that push notification and I was like, what? What? That came out of nowhere. But it, it is a monumental day, not just for those of us who are who work in media or those of us who are media consumers. He got over 3 million people watching his primetime show on Fox News every day, which means 3 million people are going to have a shift in their, in their daily habits. This is a massive cultural thing. That's an hour of your day every day, five days a week, and now they're going to have to decide what they're going to watch or what they're going to do with that hour. This is This is a pretty big deal. So what I want to do today is I want to talk a little bit about why, the question that we all have, what happened behind the scenes? Because this wasn't a matter of Tucker Carlson giving his notice and then going on air and explaining why he's leaving and saying goodbye to his audience and telling people what's coming next. This was virtually unheard of in in at least cable news where they didn't specifically say he was fired, the way that CNN, by the way, said that Don Lemon was fired. We're going to talk about that too. Um, that one is clearly much funnier than Tucker Carlson being out at Fox News. But I want to talk about all the possible scenarios, all the rumors that are going around, some insider information that, you know, I dig around in the industry. I've got friends in the industry. A little insider information, see if we can piece together what exactly happened behind the scenes at Fox News that caused Tucker Carlson to be fired. What exactly happened? Why was he fired? Let's compare and contrast some of the rumors that have been flying around about what what, what went down? Why is he gone? Who fired him and why? Let's get to it. Okay, so this was the statement that Fox News released yesterday when they announced that they had parted ways with Tucker Carlson. This is what they said. Fox News Media and Tucker Carlson have agreed to part ways. We thank him for his service to the network As a host, and prior to that as a contributor, Mr. Carlson's last program was Friday, April 21st. Fox News Tonight will air live at 8 p.m. Eastern starting this evening as an interim show helmed by rotating Fox News personalities until a new host is named. You can practically feel the icicles coming off of that statement. It is so cold. It's so icy. Not a shred of warmth. Uh, We thank him for his service to the network. Like, no, you really don't. You really don't feel thankful. Um, Brian Kilmeade actually hosted the 8 p.m. hour last night, and I felt bad for the guy because it's not his fault. He didn't do anything wrong, but man, viewers were mad that he was, that he was in Tucker Carlson's spot, but it's not his fault. Um, okay, so what exactly happened here? First of all, let's just, let's just state the obvious here. Fox News is making a very, or made, I guess it's too late now. Fox News made a very, very bad decision to get rid of Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson is Fox News at this point. Tucker Carlson is the reason that the majority of conservatives watch Fox News at this point. It's the reason the majority of conservatives, I'm going to take this a step further, it's the reason the majority of conservatives even have cable at all. So what we're seeing here is not just a shakeup at Fox News. It's not just, oh my gosh, the most prominent conservative media personality, most influential conservative in our country lost his job. It's not just that. That's big enough. But what we're seeing is going to be the beginning of the end for cable news in general. It's been a long time coming. This is actually, we don't talk about this often on my show, but this is one of, this is not one of my pet topics, but this is a topic that interests me a lot because I used to work in cable news and I saw what happens behind the scenes at cable news. We're gonna get into that a little bit more. I'll tell you a little bit about my experience and what my views are on cable news in general and what's gonna happen to this industry given the fact that the average age of a cable news viewer, and this is true for Fox News, this is true for CNN, this is true for MSNBC, the average age of their viewers are over 70 years old, which means young people don't watch cable news anymore or if they ever did, but young people are not watching these cable news channels. And not only are young people not watching it, but, and I mean this with all due respect to all of the wonderful boomers who watch my show, but, you know, if you're scared of your, this is what I said to my father-in-law earlier when I was telling him about it. I said, are you scared of your mortality? You think you're going to be here for the next 30, 40 years? I know that's, I know it sounds harsh. I know it does. Sounds harsher when I'm telling the story. Um, But the fact of the matter is the viewer demographic that watches cable news isn't going to be around forever. Just the same as any industry, right? Um, And that demographic is not being replaced by a younger demographic. The younger demographic, and cable news, by the way, recognized this about 10 years ago, and they started trying to 
trying to retool their business strategies, like CNN lost, launched CNN Plus, Fox launched Fox, Fox Nation, but they didn't do it right. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't analyze what the younger generations or how the younger generations want to consume news. All they did was make their cable news programming accessible online or on, a, on an on-demand television app. But that's not how the younger generations want to consume their news. That's not how younger generations do consume news. So cable news is at this really critical point where they're only investing in an audience that's increasingly aging. So like I said, we'll talk about the behind the scenes stuff about cable news uh, a little bit later in the show, but I did want to note that Fox has lost $1 billion in stock value since they announced that they parted ways with Tucker Carlson. I personally think he was fired and I'll tell you why here in just a moment, but parted ways is their official phraseology here. Ironically, this comes after the nearly $800 million settlement Fox News, uh, between Fox News and Dominion, you know, the lawsuit that Fox News was facing, the lawsuit from Dominion, they're the voting machines. They were suing Fox News for defamation because Fox News or some guests on Fox News and some hosts on Fox News had entertained, um, had entertained the idea that Dominion voting machines were somehow rigged. Dominion sued them over that claim. And by the way, when we do upload this, this episode on YouTube, we're probably gonna have to bleep that sentence out even though I'm just reporting what's happening here. Um, and instead of allowing this to go to trial, Fox News settled with Dominion. Now, that was kind of a head scratcher to me when I saw Fox News settle with Dominion. I think it would have been very hard for Dominion to prove their case. I think it would have been very hard for them to win, even, even though Fox News is a ostensibly conservative apparatus. I think Dominion would not have won this, but Fox News probably settled this is just speculation. Fox News probably settled because they didn't want the discovery. They didn't want all of their top talent, including actually not just talent, but their executives like Rupert Murdoch to be deposed. They didn't want them to testify and have that testimony be made public because it probably would have been embarrassing as it would for any person if you're testifying publicly or have your emails or text messages read publicly. We all say stuff on text messages and emails that we don't mean for the public. We mean just privately. That's why it's on a text or an email. Um, but Regardless, Fox News did settle with Dominion, and the amount of value that their stock lost after they settled with Dominion um, is less than the amount of the amount of money their stock lost after they fired Tucker Carlson. Actually, they paid more. They paid more um, for firing Tucker Carlson in stock value than they than they did in money to settle with Dominion. So, just a little irony there. Um, okay, so. What happened here? What happened? I think Tucker Carlson was probably fired. I think that all the signs are pointing in that direction. And this is funny because a couple weeks ago, I don't want to say that I called that I called it that I called that this was going to happen, but I did say to Dan a couple weeks ago, um, I had just watched an episode of Tucker Carlson on the Full Send podcast. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. It's the Nelk Boys podcast, and it was like an hour long, at least hour long podcast they did with Tucker Carlson. It was really entertaining. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend that you go watch it. It's on YouTube. And I said, oh, that's weird because Fox News is notorious for not allowing their talent to go on any other network and any other podcast. They're actually particularly afraid of allowing their talent to go on podcasts, especially podcasts that have really high viewership. Um, because like the Full Send podcast sometimes gets as many viewers on an episode or an interview that they do as even Tucker Carlson did on his primetime show. So usually Fox personalities and talent, you never see them making the rounds on podcasts. Never see them on any other show. It's just, they, it's just on Fox News or sometimes if they write a book, they have like a two week period that they're allowed to go on other, other shows and promote their book. But when I saw Tucker Carlson on the Full Send podcast, I said to Dan, I was like, oh, that's weird. I, I wonder if he's like pushing the boundaries. I wonder if he's, is, if he's testing out the market. I wonder if he's shopping around. I wonder if he's about to leave Fox. And I don't want to say that I called it because it was like this fleeting thought. I just made this comment to my husband and that was, that was basically it. But then, you know, get the news today that Tucker Carlson's fired. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if there was something to that. I wonder if he was, maybe he's allowed. I don't know. He's never really done anything like that before. Um, but I wonder if he was anticipating that this would happen and he wanted to do that show and so he just did it. Maybe, I don't want to say reckless, but maybe he was just willing to take that risk. Hi guys, it's Liz Wheeler. Don't forget to watch my show, The Liz Wheeler Show, every night at 7 p.m. on The First TV. You can download the free First TV app 
or you can visit thefirsttv.com slash Liz and start watching today.